let's say you walk into your classroom on a typical day, what, what kinds of things do you see? It is a very peaceful environment. There isn't um, tension felt. You can walk in any classroom and the children and the teacher are going to welcome you. What would you say to, to parents who, who feel like it's, it's too much money to send their children to, to Catholic school or some kind of institution like this? We value what we invest in. We are very comfortable in our society in the United States going out and buying a car. And depending on our means, we might enter into a $10,000 debt or a $100,000 debt. And we go and we're happy and we're excited to get the new car and we make those monthly payments. And when we finish paying that car, we don't have the car that we were buying. It's definitely old and it has been devalued. When you make the same commitment in education and you invest in children, you have given an investment that keeps giving because the basic skills that kids receive in Catholic schools carries them through high school, college, and beyond. What do you hope people get out of this other than great education? We are part of the community. We don't just educate Catholics. And we are universal in our approach. We welcome everyone, both at the faculty level and in the classroom. And we are inclusive because we are part of the world. And the only way that we are going to be able to have conversations of peace is if we teach children what that looks like in the everyday life. Why is it very important for an area like San Bernardino, Riverside, the Inland Empire, to have more Catholic schools? How important is it to you? If Catholic school is producing adults that are engaged and that are coming back and they're getting back into the community, then it's really important that we treasure this opportunity for our city. Three out of every four students in San Bernardino are of Latino descent. 75% of those families are first-generation immigrants. The church is the best or the first connection for the families. We want our families in San Bernardino to stay in San Bernardino. We want them to feel comfortable, feel safe. We don't want them to be looking beyond the fence and be looking for the time when they can leave San Bernardino so that they can have a better life. This is the seventh summit, and you you haven't been invited to any of them except for this year. Do you think it's, it's because a lot of times people try to keep education more secular, and by doing that, they kind of limit the types of education that people can receive? They don't see Catholic school as the institution that it is, perhaps because it's viewed as a commodity rather than an opportunity. But that is changing, and I'm hoping that there are more opportunities for us to come to life and to share what is it that we do and how we do it well not just for those who can fully afford the tuition of our schools, but those who cannot afford and will be given the opportunity with tuition assistance. That's Delila Vasquez, president of the Catholic Elementary Schools in San Bernardino. She's a panel speaker at the Latino Education and Advocacy Day Summit this Wednesday at Cal State San Bernardino. More information available at leadsummit.csusb.edu. Natalia Estrada KVCR News.